Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. So, I decided that I can um give y'all my pregnancy story uh, right now because I have good energy. I just got out the shower, baby is sleeping. And so yeah, it's like seven something, I think. So, um, somebody was like, can you give us all the tea? Like, I need to know the good, the bad, like what did, what did you go through? What should I expect and all that type of stuff. So. I'm really gonna try to think of every stage um, that I went through. Um, for the most part, I really, really, really had a beautiful pregnancy. There's a lot of things I did not experience. Um, so let's just start from the beginning. First trimester, it was my appetite. I definitely didn't have an appetite like that. Like I did, it was so weird. I would be hungry. I cried because I was hungry. That's one thing to your emotions be all over the place. Sometimes you literally cry, it's called a crying spell. You would cry for absolutely no reason, no reason at all. Um, I was hungry, but didn't want to eat or didn't know what I wanted to eat. Couldn't tell what I wanted, like nothing. So it was aggravating. So it made me cry. I just was like, and, and it was this feeling that I had in my stomach. I would just say, it hurt. Like I remember I was on the phone with my friend. I was like, it hurt. I just wanted to stop hurting. And then my grandma I'm like, what do you mean it hurt? Like it hurt and I'm like it don't hurt I just don't have a better word <laughs> for what I'm feeling it was just this weird feeling not an upset feeling not a hungry feeling I don't know what it was you're just gonna have feelings that you don't even know how to explain so it was just this feeling that was very irritating I wanted to eat but I didn't know what I wanted to eat so that made me irritated and so I would cry like <laughs> that's just how it was um and then when I did want to eat it started being like fruit I only wanted fruit for the longest i only wanted fruit and like orange juice and, and water like i only wanted light stuff um then once that changed my appetite came back i was eating you know everything that i would normally eat uh at one point i didn't really want meat like that that is one thing i had different i didn't have cravings too often and i could eat mostly everything i wanted to eat but at one point i didn't want meat so that is that did happen that didn't last long um what else um so then when my appetite came back, it was picky, actually. I was kind of picky. Like, I wanted certain things. I didn't want everything. Um, it's so hard to try to think all the way back. I remember one time on the 4th of July, I definitely cried because all I wanted was a hot sausage. We had all this good food. All I wanted was a hot sausage, and I think I put a chicken wing on my plate. Like, my appetite was a little weird then. And um, I bit into the hot dog, and it was a hot dog and not a hot sausage, and I cried. I was like, I just wanted a hot sausage. That's all I wanted. Like, <laughs> I was so upset because it was so much food, but all I wanted was a hot sausage. So it was just like, why y'all couldn't save me a hot sausage? Y'all get to eat everything else. All I wanted was a hot sausage. But it's not like they knew that. Like, and they didn't know that we ran out. Like, grandma, like, I think we got more. I'll make you some more. Everybody is just so like, it's okay. Like, you know, I'm like, I just want to. And, and I remember my papa was like, um, he gonna say she just wanted a hot sausage. That's how she got in this predicament. I was like, uh, ew. They still can't say certain things to me. I don't care how grown I get. Don't say it. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I remember, oh, and then Malaria wanted to taste my chicken. So I was like, honey, go ahead, she eating it. And then I peeped that she was still eating my chicken. I was like, you gonna eat all my chicken? She's like, I'm sorry. Mind you, I did not want that chicken. I really didn't. But it was the fact that she just was going to sit there and eat it all. She's like, I'll go get you another one. And I was I, I was crying. And I was like, I don't even want it for real, for real. <laughs> they was like, what, yo? I was just so emotional that day. Um, other than that, <laughs> I didn't have too many of those experiences of me crying about food. I really didn't. Um, that was just like in the very beginning. I definitely was emotional. And food was just, it was just a mess at first. Uh, when it came to morning sickness, um, I definitely had morning sickness. I could eat something and know, like, oop, my stomach did not like that. My baby did not want that. 
and I could feel it. Like I ate a bag of chips. I got this weird feeling in my mouth. My mouth would get watery and I would get this weird taste in my mouth. And I'd be like, I'm about to throw up. And I would throw up. It was times I had horrible ones. Like, ugh, ugh, just was coming out, coming out, coming out. There were times where I wasn't throwing up anything. I think those were the worst. It's worse than actually throwing up food because your body is just pushing, 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 trying to get something out and there's nothing in there. Like, those were the worst. Um... And they call it morning sickness, but you're not necessarily going to always throw up in the morning. It would be the afternoon. It would be in the nighttime. You kind of just throw up whenever, really. Um, and then that stopped for a while. Was that in my first trimester? It's so hard, y'all. Like, I think I threw up a little bit in each trimester. The third trimester, I really did not throw up. I probably threw up one time. I threw up one time. I ate something that he didn't like, and that was it. But I really did not throw up my third trimester at all. Um and talking to other people they threw up way more than me like i could probably count how many times i threw up so i really didn't have it that bad uh what else um obviously you notice you can't fit your jeans no more you start having to wear sweatpants and tights um you can buy maternity clothes i was really thinking about buying some maternity jeans because i thought they were so cute but i really didn't get any i usually i, I really was wearing sweatpants and i'm not even a sweatpants kind of girl i love jeans i will wear jeans if i'm tired like like, I don't feel like getting dressed. I'm still going to have on jeans. Like, I love jeans. Um, but now I got, like, a whole stack of sweatpants. I was wearing sweatpants a lot. Um, I was wearing dresses. Like, I was still cute. That's one thing. Like, you could still be cute. Like, I was so I was still cute throughout my pregnancy. Like, my outfits was cute. I loved it. I loved seeing my belly grow. Like, it was like, ugh. Every day, it was, like, getting bigger and bigger. And it was just so cute. Um, I didn't get stretched. Oh, let's get into that. Because I think I hit everything. My, let's see the food like i told y'all all right so when i started having cravings at one point all i wanted was orange juice this is this is like second trimester now all i wanted was orange juice orange juice orange juice orange juice every day i would buy probably five tubs of orange juice when i would go to the market i was drinking orange juice heavy um and i was eating cinnamon raisin bagels with cream cheese i wanted that a lot too at one point and then that stopped and i also wanted i still wanted fruit i ate fruit my entire pregnancy which was really good um but orange juice, cinnamon raisin bagels. Third trimester, I started eating apple danishes. I was in love with apple danishes. I put malaric on. She's still eating them now. Like, I'm still eating them now, too. Apple danishes um, and ice. I think those are the ones that I, I actually went through. It was orange juice. It was fruit, orange juice, um, cinnamon raisin bagels, apple danishes, um what i just say what i just say y'all whatever i just said i just forgot oh ice ice oh i love me some ice i have ate ice since i have not eaten ice since that's crazy um uh, i was tearing up some ice <laughs> so freaking good it was so good y'all um my baby crying his dad up there though so um ice okay so that was all my cravings um now, when it comes down to my body, I didn't have not one stretch mark on my stomach, like, at all. When I started getting stretch marks, that was my third trimester, or maybe the end of the second, and it, I started getting them on my buttocks. So, I getting them on my butt. I got it right on the top part of my butt. I remember I first seen the one little, like, it was like this little dark line. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm, I, no, no, no. It was these dark spots. And I seen them first. He's like, you got these dark spots on your butt. Like, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. But then it kept, it started like progressing. Mind you, I owe you every day, every day, everywhere. Like, I'm lathered up. I'm lathered up right now. Like, so first he seen the spots and then they started being like these little lines. And so there was lines, dark, dark lines on my butt. So they were stretch marks. They they didn't look like stretch marks at first. So we didn't know, but and they were really, really dark. I was like, I could take the stretch marks, but why they gotta be so black? Like I have dark stretch marks on my butt. So it was like right on the top. Then they start forming on the, the cheeks, on the side cheeks of my butt. And then underneath, like that cuff, they start being right there, like the back of your thigh, like but underneath your butt. So all my stretch marks were just in that area. Like just hating on my booty <laughs> um so that's where all my stretch marks came from and then i got one dark line right on my side i can't actually show y'all that one it's really small right there 
and that's it i don't have none none, none on my like no dark dark marks on my stomach so since i'm standing up i might as well show y'all post belly it's been 11 days you guys 11 okay my stomach looks absolutely great I just have that hyperpigmentation that makes your stomach dark. So I was also going to tell you about that. My stomach did not get dark until my third trimester. And then I started getting these light spots around my belly button that turned into stretch marks. I didn't get them to my, my third trimester. So I got a little stretch marks around my belly button, but they're light. And my color should come back. But I watched the video um, on what you should use. I already was using bio oil. Um, I'm starting to use coconut oil, cocoa butter. You just got to keep yourself moisturized. And also, it's this scrub that I watched this girl um, use when she washed up. And you have to be very gentle. Do not be rough. Be very gentle. Um, so, my color should come back. Um, so, yeah. So, my stomach looks really, really good. It's pretty flat for only 11 days postpartum. I really just got to get my color back. And then I kind of tighten my stomach because right now it's like a little loose. Um... Y'all already know that I got stitches. My stitches are healing. I can't see them though. So honestly, they said about 10 days they'll dissolve. It's 11 days. So I don't know if they dissolve or not. Still just a little sore. But I didn't take no meds today. So that's really good. So that means I'm, I'm healing really, really well. Um, uh, what else? Um, oh, and it's one thing that I've never heard anyway. I'm trying to see. My baby's still crying. Like, what's he doing? Let's go. Um, hold on, come back. What is wrong? Think and think. I baby stepped right on my foot. I told you about my stretch marks, I told you about my darkness, I told you about my cravings. Uh, I can't remember where I left off at. I do know, oh yeah, at first, now I was like, you told them how you didn't like my green tea, and then you start liking my green tea like it was the best thing in the world. So yeah, I've been drinking Arizona tea, and I would get him green tea. And I ain't like his green tea like that. I'm like, it's not, it's not sweet enough. And then one day, I was just in love with his green tea. Like, stuff like that, so. But I didn't have nowhere cravings, like pickles and chocolate, and chocolate and spaghetti like i didn't have none of that i didn't have no weird mixtures of anything um this is my first time using this because i'm always in the house so i've never used this shout out to kara and tara for buying this for me um so yeah i feel like i hit all of that um honestly the worst part of my pregnancy and this is this is this is what I was about to say. This is what I never heard anybody ever talk about. Maybe they didn't experience it. But when you are pregnant, your hormones and your body is doing a lot of things. And you're way more sensitive to things such as yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis. You are very, very um, prone to, to, to those type of things. And so I went through that my entire pregnancy sadly like i don't second and third trimester i went through that and it was horrible anytime i would have intercourse i would get a yeast infection and i would have to use this creams like monistat and some other stuff that i would have to insert up um at nighttime for seven days and also apply on the outside because i would be itchy i would be irritated it, it would burn when I would pee, right? Like right after we would do stuff, it would burn when I went to the bathroom. That used to be the worst. I started irritating him. Um, honestly, that was the worst. And one time I had a yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis together at the same time. I think that was the worst one I've ever had. I was so irritated, so itchy, so swollen, so sore, bumpy. I'm sorry, y'all, this is the real. It was horrible horrible absolutely horrid horrible okay i went to the doctors 
the lady checked me as soon as she looked at it she said <laughs> she said oh my god sis you going through it i was like yes like you see it but feeling it like it's horrible it was horrible so i, I obviously would have um they had that on my prescription like when i my prenatal refill i would have a minor set refill because i was literally going through that all the time so literally i couldn't like do anything i would we would do stuff i would have to wait a whole week for me to feel better and heal to do it again just for me to be irritated again like that would make you not want to do it right like i would be irritated so much so So we definitely had a hard time with that. That was horrible. That's something no one ever has told me, have told me that they went through. So I'm here to tell y'all, it's horrible. If y'all go through that, it's normal. It's nothing wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with him. It's just your hormones and it's horrible. <laughs> like it was so irritating. It was very, very irritating. Um, and having to insert that stuff all the time like ugh, it was just really it was a lot and it was very irritating the bacteria reginosis pill is disgusting for those of you that don't know i cannot take pills i have to chew my pills or get it they have a liquid form they don't have liquid forms that much for everything so i actually chew a lot of pills and that pill was disgusting i it was so nasty i threw it up so it like i went through the whole process of trying to chew it and try to swallow it, being it so disgusting, and then threw it up. So I took it for nothing, cause I couldn't even, I ain't keep it down. Crap was nasty. I was so happy. I never got bacterial reginosis again. I only would get like a yeast infection. And the cream, it really worked. Um, but I, that's, I, that's something I would never miss. And I really, really hope that once I'm able to, you know, again, that I did not go through that because that was the worst experience of my life. 10 months of keep getting yeast infections. Like that is annoying. Very, very annoying. I think that would probably say that was the worst part of my pregnancy. Not to throw it up. Not my booty stretch marks. It would be the yeast infections. It was horrible. Um, I did hate my butt stretch marks for the longest. Like I was like, they so ugly. Why are they so dark? And I like, they're beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful. Um, yeah, so they might lighten up. Hopefully they lighten up. I'm definitely try working on my stomach lightening up. I'm perfectly fine with how my stomach looks. Uh, just want to get my skin tone back to the, its proper color. So I'm going to keep using the bio oil. I'm going to keep, keep using the coconut oil. I'm definitely going to get this scrub. It's like a coffee scrub. I'm going to definitely try the um, coffee scrub. And remember to be gentle when you're rubbing your belly. And um, obviously when you're sleeping, I had to sleep on my side. If you sleep on your back, it can it it um slows down your blood circulation to the baby. That's why you're not supposed to sleep on your back. Um I didn't really have back pains like that. I had a lot of energy. I was still doing TikToks. I was still dance. I was still walking up and down the steps. I still cooked. I still clean. I honestly did everything. Some people use their pregnancy as an excuse to be lazy, but I was still doing a lot of stuff that I was doing. Night was also helping me, but I'm a busybody. So like I if I could do it, I'ma do it. And um there would be times I would get winded from walking up the steps. I was like, whew. Actually, I would get tired from talking. If I was pregnant right now and I'm doing all this talking, I would have been out of breath. Definitely got tired of talking. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I tell you everything. So, yeah. I wasn't mean. Not some people get mean. I was not mean to him. He can test to that. I was not mean. Um, I really don't feel like I cried that, that much. But it do make you emotional. Um, sex was difficult. <laughs> Uh, didn't have no weird cravings. I threw up, but it wasn't horrible. Some of them were horrible. But compared to other people's stories, I didn't have horrible morning sickness. It didn't make me lose weight. I had a friend that lost weight. She got so sick. It didn't make me lose weight or nothing like that. I gained weight. I gained over like 30 pounds. I was 118. And then I was 150. And now I'm 137, I believe. So I kept some of my weight pretty and thick say so, <laughs> um yeah so overall i really enjoyed being pregnant it was a beautiful experience i love seeing my baby grow seeing my belly grow um right now so i might as well give y'all a postpartum update too um my boobs i'm producing milk 
I can make like two bottles right now. Um, one from each. So that's really, really good. When I first started, I was only getting one ounce from each. But now I'm getting, I can get a full bottle from each. Not all in one sitting though. Like I'll pump, I'll probably get two ounces, wait a little bit, and then I'll get the, the rest. Um, but he breastfeeds. He latches pretty well. I honestly, so when I went upstairs and he was crying, I was about to give him a bottle, but I was like, let me just breastfeed him because I really like to save my bottles for nighttime because we, it don't even really be night, it'd be early morning, like seven, six. He gets this period of when he's just unhappy and he just wants to eat, 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 eat. And I'm tired and like, if he's not latching right or I got to sit up for him to breastfeed, just be annoying. So I make bottles and i give them to him at night so that's why i was like no let me just breastfeed him right now he knocked out <laughs> he go to sleep on my boob and then he starts sucking again it's like he falls asleep he sucks up falls asleep so um yes i had a great support i had great support from my family but my husband he definitely was a great support um out throughout the whole thing oh, i was supposed to be telling you about postpartum I think that's it. My boobs are like super big, filled with milk. It hurts when you don't, if they get too, like too full, they do start to hurt. Like your boobs hurt. They like, we need to be released. And when your boobs get too full, the baby can't latch, right? It's too thick for them to latch. So sometimes I'll just pump and release them. And then I'll, I'll let him like latch if I want him to, uh, you know, latch on. Um, uh, your nipples also can hurt too. Like if they're not on correctly, that hurts they be so sore and it'd be like do the doctor would tell you do not sit there in pain if he's not latched on right take your pinky and like push it through his mouth and make him unlatch and do it again because your comfort is also important like you know you you know we just be like oh, i want him to eat, eat, eat so bad but if you hurting don't do that so um i'm not hurting right now because he latches on perfectly but when he's not latched on right it hurts very very badly um I didn't experience nipple bleeding or pilling like my friend had told me about her. I didn't have that, but that can happen. But I didn't have that. They just be a little sore. I have um, nipple butter that I rub on there. And you don't have to wipe it off before you feed. It's organic and it's natural that he can also have it. Um, what else? Postpartum. Oh, and your emotions. I've cried only about five times since we've been back. It's been 11 days I cried five times. And it's about the dumbest things ever. Like, I was breastfeeding and I was tired and I was thirsty and I couldn't reach my water. And I wanted Nye to give me my water. So he's giving me the water, but he going too fast and spilling. And I'm like, yo, like, pay attention. And then he doing it and he want to play and then it spilled all over me. And I was like, I'm about to cry. And I just started crying. <laughs> I announced when I'm about to cry. I can always feel it. <laughs> and I be saying it with a straight face. I be like, I'm about to cry. And I just start crying. He's like, I'm so I'm like, you playing too much and I'm thirsty. Like, dang, I just want my water and you want to play. It'd be stuff like that. Dumb stuff. Um, but overall, I'm in very, very, very good spirits. They tell you, they had told him, like, really watch how she behaved because I forgot the technical term. Everyone goes through postpartum something and it can lead to postpartum depression. They like, watch how she behaves, her mood swings. Because you have to see if it's turning into depression. God bless you. You have to see if it's turning into depression. And if it is, you want to catch it. Because they have like pills and stuff for that. Um, but I definitely don't think I'm going into postpartum depression. I'm very, very happy. My emotions aren't that crazy. Um, update on baby. Baby circumcision is healed. Everything down there looks great. Um, his belly button thing just fell off two days ago. That looks good. It bleeds a little bit, so you just have to keep wiping it with warm water. Um, he has newborn rashes, like it's like these little red and white looking like those spotty dots. They're newborn rashes that goes away on its own. Um, he get these red marks like all over his body. If he's like leaning on something, he has um, sensitive skin that should also go away. Um, it actually is getting better because I have been really seeing it on him like that. He knocked out. He's so cute. He's so cute. I got burp him. Um, so yeah, so baby is great. He's 7.9 pounds. Honestly, he feels even heavier. We go to the doctors on Wednesday, so he's probably gonna be heavier than that. 
but he was 7.3 and then he was 7.5 and he was 7.9 um and i'm pretty sure he's he weighs more than that now so um i believe that's it i'm sorry if i skipped anything that was my experience it really wasn't horrible you already know about my labor Whew, contractions was horrible um i'm a soldier uh so yeah so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you had a baby leave comments down below tell me about your experience if you experienced the same thing as me or if you experienced something different leave it in the comments and um i definitely want to prank night but like i'm still too emotional for that like i can't even play play like my baby fell down the steps because i'm gonna cry like don't play my baby like that <laughs> so i can't take no pranks right now i'm happy that he not even think about pranking me right now because i can't take it um so yeah i don't know but hopefully we'll come back with some more like funny concepts and stuff i told you i was gonna give y'all this video so here's this video i gave y'all your labor video and i think i did everything that i was supposed to do um yeah happy belated valentine's day if you follow us on Instagram, AJ underscore Nye underscore, AJ underscore and Nye underscore, you see my beautiful roses and my chocolate heart, and my teddy bear, and you have seen what I got him, um, trying to be creative and cute. And so yeah, sorry y'all, I'm gonna burp my baby. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. See y'all in the next video.